Hi guys, okay so following on from our first tutorial where we created a pickup, an assault rifle pickup and a play sound uh, location, um, we're going to actually pick this weapon up and it's going to attach to our character and we're also going to be able to create a uh, input fire action um, so we're going to actually audition some sounds by pressing the left mouse button. Okay, so I'm in a third person blueprint here. I'm just going to show you the assault rifle that I've got displayed here, which is our pickup, and we're going to work with this. Um, something important just to show you guys is um, we're going to need to create what's called a socket in order to display our um, particle systems, but also at, um, assign a location for our sound to play from. So um, in your weapon, if you have it um, downloaded from the Unreal, uh, Unreal Store. You might have one that doesn't have a muzzle flash, but if you don't have one, just come over to the um, to one of the bones and select a socket or add a new socket, and then just position it where uh, in front of the barrel where you need it to be. Okay, so that's already set up for me, so that's cool. Um, the next thing I need to do is I need to actually create a socket on the character. So I'm going to come over to my character. And I'm going to open up our Hero TTP, or TPP, rather. And I've already got this guy sort of semi-set up here, um, but I'll just show you how to do that. So if you come over to Skeleton and scroll down, I'm just going to delete that socket. And then in the uh, handgun, I'm going to right-click and add a new socket and call this Assault assault rifle socket and then if I right click again I can um, add a preview asset so if we go assault and then pick our assault rifle and then what we need to do is just select the socket again and just rotate this so it sort of sits in his hand so 90 degrees and then just slide it down a little bit and then move it along so it's sort of in his hand um, there is a, a better way to do this as well if you come over to the animation tab and just pick one of these um, which is actually firing so fire rifle iron sights let's pick that and then just pause it we can actually come in and just position it a little bit better over his finger so I wasn't too far away with that um, I might need to just rotate that down a little bit hang on um, let's just take rotation off a second so that's okay. Okay, so let's just save that. Let's just save it and then um, close it. Okay, so if we come over to the prototype assault rifle again and right click it um, and create blueprint using, um, I'm just going to call this assault rifle BP. Just capitalize that and then okay. Okay, I'm just going to close this out. I don't want to get into that just yet. So we're still attaching sockets here. So um, if we come over to our character and go to the components tab, you can actually add a, um, a blueprint in here. So I'm just going to delete my one that I created earlier and go to child actor and call this assault rifle blueprint just to kind of tell us what we're working with here and then we're going to select it from our child actor component class. So um, I'm just going to select it there and then compile it and save it. You can see our weapon is sitting out of his uh, groin there. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is attach this to his hands. So we created a hand socket earlier called uh, assault rifle um, socket, I believe. Uh, if we come into the graph, um, you can come over to the construction script. What this does is every time it um, compiles, it will fire off this node. So instantly we're going to get this weapon. This is how we're going to set this up. So if we go um, attach and then we want attach to. And if we get the assault rifle child actor that we created earlier and get it and put that in the um, target. And we also want to get a ref um, get reference to the mesh as well. So if we type get mesh and then just plug it into the parent there. Okay, and if we save that, 
and jump into our world. Oh, I've forgotten to do something. One second. Um, also, it's really important to um, tell it what socket you want to attach it to. So it was assault rifle socket um, and snap to target and world simulated bodies. You want to uh, keep that um, selected as well. So we just save it and then jump in a world. You can see that our weapon is attached and we're not actually firing yet, um, but we can do that. We can do that next. Okay, so if we go over to our project settings, we can create an input. So when we press the left mouse button, um, we can fire our weapon. So to do that, I'm just going to add a new action mapping and call this fire. And then if I drop this menu down here, I can um, type left mouse, and plug it in there, okay? So we'll close that out and just save all so we don't lose our work. If I go back to the assault, I'll just move this in here actually first. Um, we open up our weapon, we haven't actually got anything on our graph yet. So um, if I create a custom event and call this um, fire, okay, and then I'm going to just make sure this is working by printing a string which we've done in previous tutorials, and weapon fired. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so that's set up. So now um, we will need to go back into our character blueprint and create our input fire action. So if we go to our event graph and then um, right click and go input fire, it should come up. So that is referencing the thing that we created in our um, project settings earlier. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our assault rifle again. So if you hold left control and drag, you instantly get a get. You don't get that menu there. Also, if you want to set it, you just hold the um, alt button down to get a set. Okay, um, so we need to um, attach this assault rifle to its child actor again. Um, so get the child actor. And then from this, we can cast to that blueprint that we created that fire event in earlier. So cast to assault rifle blueprint. Okay, this is going to expose the variables in that blueprint. So um, if we go pressed there and hook that up. Okay, now we've created this cast to assault rifle blueprint. We're going to get a load more options in our menu. So if we select this um, blue node here and just drag it out and type fire, it's going to get, get a reference to that, um, that custom event that we created earlier. So I'll just show you that real quick, just so that that's a really quite important skill to kind of lock down. Okay, so this custom um, event here is now being called by this system in here in a completely different blueprint and that's because we're casting to that assault rifle blueprint and also telling it which object it was. Um, you need to have a child actor in your blueprint in order for that to, to work. So that's going to hopefully, now we only press the left mouse button down, it's going to um, print that string to the screen. Okay, so we come over here and click the left mouse should say weapon fire okay so now, now we know that's working we can move on to the next stage which is to put loads of effects on um, add our sounds and also some projectiles as well um, it's getting a bit long this tutorial so we might pick that up in the next one um, I'll just add the sound in real quick um, so if we go back to our blueprint and then just say play sound at location um, and then get socket get socket location and chuck that in there and the socket name was um, assault rifle socket and the target will be um, itself I guess would work no I actually need a reference here okay cool Okay, so let's select a sound. I've um, created one myself here. Um, assault rifle single shot. 
Um, some of the sounds which come with this pack are absolutely horrid, so I've, uh, I've taken the liberty of making my own for this. Um, okay, so that's in. Let's just check that that's working. Cool. It's not perfect. So I'm going to do some future tutorials on how we can um, better uh, present some uh, weapon sounds using WYs and other other techniques. But um, for now, we want to actually walk over this um, this weapon and actually have it attach into our hands. So that's a kind of key thing we need to do that we haven't done yet. Okay, so if we come over to the uh, ASP character blueprint again and come over to the construction script. Um, basically, we're going to essentially want to do this when we walk over that um, that pickup. So um, this is still useful to us. So if we want to um, just take this uh, and cut it and stick it in the um, graph over here, um, we're going to need to get a message from that um, assault rifle pickup um, and then have it um, fire off. Um, we're going to need to create a couple of variables here, so um, let's just create one. Um, let's call this assault rifle. It has assault rifle, and let's um, expose that. Okay, so now I'm going to be able to set the value of this in my um, assault rifle pickup to say that it's true when the weapon, when the player has actually run over it. So. Um, Let's go back to our, let's just compile that and save it. Okay, so if I go into my assault rifle pickup and if I get the player um, character and then if I cast to that blueprint with the, it was the ASP character blueprint which contained my variable that I just created um, and then if I drag this node off here, it's going to give me that um, variable. So if I type has assault rifle, I want to set it and I want to set it to true. So as soon as the player walks over this, um, that variable is going to go to true and it's going to allow my pressing the one button down on my keyboard um, to attach that weapon. OK, so let's just check we've got that set up. Um, let's just set that up real quick. So um, if I type 1 here and if I do a branch we can use the condition of that um, and it's going to be defaulted to false and when, it, when I press 1 it's going to give me that weapon. I'm doing it this way because I'm going to be using a few other weapons as I build these tutorials. So, just launch. Um, it's attached to my groin, funnily enough. But when I press 1, it goes into my hand. So, we're just going to have to sort that out real quick. Okay, so to fix that, we come into our character blueprint again. And we're going to need to toggle the visibility of that um, initial mesh in the components tab. Um, but you can't actually do it in here. This is kind of an important point. If I just turn that on and off, it's not actually um, hiding it. So we're going to need to cast um, to that blueprint again. So if I come over here and grab the, um, the assault rifle blueprint and then get child actor component. And now if I cast to assault rifle, um, assault rifle blueprint and let's fire this off when an event begin play so it's right at the start of the level um, it's going to just hide that for us and on here we're going to need to set the visibility so it's um, set hidden I think set actor hidden in game and then the new value is going to be true so we want to hide it um, okay, so that should work. We also, when we equip it, we're going to want to set its visibility again. So um, to do that, let's um, <coughs> let's. Uh, I wonder if we can just do it here. So set actor, or set hidden rather. 
and then the target is going to be that and then this time we're going to show its visibility okay so let's compile that see if that works okay it's a little bit messy i will get around to tidying these up but just for now let's um let's pick this up so there's nothing in my hand nothing in my groin i pick it up and until i press the one button it appears okay so it might be quite nice to actually add a sound in there as well so once it's equipped let's um let's play a sound at location um, and let's pick a reload sound first or something simple okay that'll do and then um location let's get the actor's location and just be really quick about it so okay so let's try that again so i picked it up now it's sort of in my inventory my imaginary inventory and now here it is also Okay, so in the next tutorial I'll show you how to do a line tray system and we'll set up some physical materials um, or some physical surfaces and have some sounds replay back depending on what um, impact the line trace returns from this weapon. Um, okay, so um, that's it. If you like the tutorial, um, hit the like button and stay subscribed for future tutorials and I'll catch you next time. Thanks guys.